Vanilla has millions of tiny seeds that you can grow. And it won't just grow into any vanilla plant. It grows into a white orchid. But the catches, they aren't like regular seeds that you can sprout on a damp piece of paper towel or in soil. You have to micropropagate them in order for them to grow using a scientific method. And listen, if the first successful germination of vanilla orchid seeds in a lab was in 1922, I want to see if we can be the first in 2024 to successfully germinate vanilla seeds right in our very own home. So I got my hands on one and started my attempt at growing a million tiny vanilla seeds. But of course, if you know me, then you know that on this channel, we don't believe in traditional scientific methods until we try all of the ways ourselves before the more serious methods. So when I tried it the normal way and they didn't grow like normal seeds and they just molded over, I realized that I needed to put on my Bob the Builder hat and become a scientist to micropropagate these vanilla seeds with something called a culture or tissue growth medium. I needed to get my hands on something called nutrient agar and get to work. Once my culture medium arrived, I was ready to start our attempt at growing the second most expensive spice in the world after saffron. Immediately, I got the liquids together, followed all of the instructions, then once the liquids were ready, I pushed the seeds inside of not one, but two Petri dishes. We always gotta make sure that we have options just in case we fail because you know it's all trial and error. <coughs> but as I pushed the seeds into their new homes, I learned that with vanilla, many botanists grow it with other nutrients next to the nutrient agar like glucose or sucrose, and that helps them grow even more successfully. And technically you don't need the mixture for vanilla to grow, but it is said to help it sprout even more. And then, once they do grow in this medium, you transfer them to new ones about every 6 to 12 months. But as I was working with my nutrient agar, I didn't have any glucose or sucrose or any external nutrients, so I just followed the instructions with nutrient agar, hoping it would work, but also knowing that usually it's meant to see how bacteria forms and not to sprout just plant seeds. And I learned that later on, so listen. You don't know until you try, and we continued with the process. But I knew that if it did work, these two little Petri science plates would be the first home of many for these little seedlings. One of them I pushed in with a knife and got lots of feedback from you guys, telling me that I was gonna add way too much bacteria from that knife. I did try and sterilize it before in the hot water, but anyway. The other one, I just put the seeds right on top and didn't touch them, so I was hoping that that environment would be a little bit more sterile. And if you're a science major and have done this before or have any tips on micropropagation specifically with vanilla and vanilla orchid seeds, please do not hesitate to comment below and I promise you I will listen to your every word. You will become God to me. Anywho, once I got all the seeds inside the two separate Petri dishes filled with our culture inside, they were ready to start to propagate. I covered the tops, I waited, and I watched, and four whole months passed. They've now been living in those homes for four months. It did look like some bacteria was growing in the one that I touched with the knife, but the other one, it looked like there could be some potential growth and so I just let them live really excited but not realizing that I needed to keep the Petri dishes airtight with some sort of elastic band. So I guess they started to dry out because air was getting into them. You guys are the best. I learned so much from you and that's why it's all trial and error because it fails until it works with all of our like-minded brains. Currently, this is what our vanilla is looking like. It looks like that nutrient kind of dried up. I think it's because they weren't airtight enough. So, although it technically failed, I still have hope for our vanilla plant growth. I think I'm gonna get those extra added nutrients we need, maybe some sucrose, some glucose, and add it to that nutrient agar, and then try it again, and also keep the little Petri dishes completely airtight. And as sad as I was, it's okay, because it's all the cycle of how we learn about how plants all grow, especially since these are such an amazing plant because they're the seed pods of white orchids. And what I love about vanilla is it's not only just an edible fruit of the orchid family, but it produces 3,000 tons every single day in the USA. And that means there's a high demand for vanilla on the rise right now. And that also means that we can surely grow it into a plant and maybe not mass produce it, but have homegrown vanilla seed pods that we can use for so many different things for years to come. And a lot of beautiful white orchid plants right in our very own home. So we always need to remember that orchids are special because they produce the vanilla bean seed pods. And now we got our Petri dishes that I'm not throwing out. I'm gonna keep these two and see if anything happens with them. I don't know if I should make them moist or get them wet or something. So let me know what I should do with those. But I'm also gonna attempt this again and again until it finally works. And don't fret because next time I'm gonna get my hands on a fresh white orchid vanilla seed pod because that could also be why it didn't grow successfully since it was cured. The one that I used was literally ready to open 
oven up and put in your coffee for vanilla flavoring. But listen, like I mentioned, if the first successful germination of vanilla seed orchid pods in a lab was in 1922, we gotta see if we can be the first in 2024 to successfully germinate vanilla seeds right in our very own home. I don't know about you, but I'm so excited to see if we can achieve the target because listen, on this page, we've done a few crazy things where some haven't worked, but some really have. And you already know that on this channel, we take the seeds from inside exotic fruits and grow them into full-blown houseplants that fruit with vanilla seed pods taking the front and center stage this week. Thank you so much for watching. It would mean the world to me if you didn't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe. Always remember that I love you. And I'll see you next week.